Hello everyone, welcome to prevent the solution given this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of x cubed. This is equal to the square root of 5 cubed. So what is the value of x? Now solution here, we have the square root of x to power 3. This is equal to the square root of 5 to power 3. Okay, so the first thing here, if you have the square root of a, this essentially can be expressed as a to power half. Now we can express the same thing here. This is the same thing as x to power 3 raised to power half. This is equal to, now the square root of 5 cubed, this is the same thing as 5 to power 3 raised to power half. Now applying the exponent power property, that is 8 to power n raised to power m, this can be expressed as 8 to power m raised to power n. Now applying this exponent property, we will have x to power half raised to power 3. This essentially is equal to 5 to power half raised to power 3. Okay? So let's proceed. Now we can express x to power half to, to power 3 as the square root of x raised to power 3. So this is equal to the square root of 5 raised to power 3. So let's take square root of 5 to power 3 on the left hand side. So here we'll have the square root of x to power 3. Subtract square root of 5 to power 3. This is equal to 0. Now we find that this is actually in the form of the difference of two cubes expressed as a cubed minus b cubed, which we can express as a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. So that now we'll have a is equal to square root of x and b is equal to square root of 5. So we'll have the square root of x subtract square root of 5, okay? And then we'll have square root of x squared plus square root of x multiplied by square root of 5 plus square root of 5 squared. So this is supposed to be equal to, to 0. Now let's proceed from here. Now here we have two parts. We have the square root of x subtract square root of 5. This is equal to 0 as the first part. And in this case, we'll have the square root of x. This is equal to square root of 5. Now, so for the value of x here, we square both signs to eliminate the square root sign. So let's eliminate this square root sign. So that's the first value of x here, x1, basically is equal to 5. Okay, so this is a real solution here. Now let's proceed to the second part here, which is the square root of x squared which is essentially x plus, now we have the square root of x times square root of 5, which is in the form of square root of a times square root of b, which we can express as square root of a multiplied by b, okay? So in this case, we'll have the square root of 5x plus square root of 5 squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so this is plus 5, and this is essentially equal to to zero. Now from here, we'll have x plus 5, okay? So let's take square root of 5x on the right hand side. So this is negative square root of 5x. So the next phase here is to square both signs. So let's square both signs. So this is x plus 5 squared, which is, which is in the form of a plus b squared which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, okay? So applying this algebraic identity, x plus 5 squared, this is the same thing as x squared plus, this is actually 10x plus 5 squared. This is equal to, now we have negative square root of x, 5x squared, Okay, so this is negative, it's like negative 1 squared, which is basically 1, times square root of 5x squared, so we eliminate the square root sign. So this is the same thing as 1 times 
5x. Now here we'll have x squared plus, this is 10x plus 25. Now let's take 5x on the right hand, so subtract 5x, this is equal to 0. So here we'll have x squared plus 10x minus 5x, this is 5x plus 25, this is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and c equal to 25. Now to solve the values of value of x here, that is x2 and x3, we apply the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's substitute this. So we'll have, this is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is actually 5 squared, subtract 4, times a, which is 1, times c, which is basically equal to 25. All this divided by so let's proceed here. We'll have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, this is 25, 5 squared is 25, subtract 4 times 25, which is actually 100, all this divided by 2. So let's proceed here. So this is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 100, this is negative 75, all this divided by 2. So let's proceed again, this is negative 5 plus or minus, we can express negative 75 basically as 25 times 3 times negative 1, all this divided by 2. And then we express again here as negative 5 plus or minus, now, square root of 25, this is basically 5. Square root of negative 1, this is i. Then square root of 3, all this divided by 2. And this means that we have, and this means that we have x2 basically as equal to negative 5 plus 5i square root of 3 divided by 2. Now this is the value of x2. Okay, so x3, x3 is also, x3 is equal to negative 5 plus, subtract 5i. Now that means here, we have that x2 is equal to negative 5 plus 5i square root of 3, and x3 as negative Oh, this is divided by 2, and x3, negative 5, subtract 5i, square root of 3, divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. We only have one real solution, which is x1, which is basically equal to 5. So let's verify this x1 actually satisfies the equation. So let's verify here. So we end that the square root of x to power 3, this is equal to square root of 5 to power 3. So here we have the square root of 5 to power 3, and this is equal to square root of 5 to power 3. Essentially, this is all, this actually is the same. So that, that is the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that affirms that our math problem has got three solutions, x1, which is a real solution. This is a real solution. And we have x2 and x2, x2 and x3, which are complex solutions. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe.